I would like to do a little scrap, pop in, check in, status, see where you are with it. I'm Pat Sloan. This morning I put in my Facebook uh, community group a photo of me from where I was cutting last night and I was doing some blocks and when I was done, whatever little bit was left, I made it the, I cut it up into the scrap size that I'm working with, which is basically two and a half and four and a half right now and, and cut it off. And so I said, to all of you that are there, all the friends in my community, it's like, what are you doing? What is the status of your scrap sort of management, thoughts, philosophy? And for a lot of you, scraps are your joy. And they also, for some of them, they're your headache. You, <laughs> that's what you, you uh, aren't really sure what you're doing with them, but you're doing something. You're cutting stuff up. So what I was reading is reading the comments and there's a lot of people who will do all kinds of sizes like you might have, you know, up to 10, 12 or more sizes. You're cutting everything, everything on the half inch, like one and a half, two, two and a half, three, you know, all the way up to five, six, 10. And that's a lot of storage units. So think about that. If you were going to have like one storage unit like this or a storage unit um, like this for, for every size, that would be all, you know, like you'd have to have 10 of those just for uh, each size and you're not going to get a lot in in that which means you're going to have multiples of those for every size and then do you, you know i still have a question because i know some of you actually use all of this uh, because you primarily make scraps or maybe you just love cutting up scraps and that's your happy place and that's totally that's totally awesome uh, but for those of you who are doing it but not using it that's you're the ones I want to talk to. <laughs> you're the ones I want to get hold of you and uh, get you a plan. Give you a plan. Give you a plan that will work for you. Because what I've been, I I've looked at myself, and I am that classic case. I am the person that I I will not use a one and a half inch strip ever. I am not going to go back to a bin of one and a half inch strips and do something with them. If I ever want to do a project with one and a half inch strips, I will go and cut them. I won't ever go to look for a bin that I did eight years ago to see if I want to work with those fabrics. That is not joyful to me or fun. It is for some of you, but I'm speaking right now to like the group that you might be in my camp. You might be in, you know, a uh, team that's too many sizes. <laughs> so what I want you to do is think about what kind of scrap quilt you want to make. Like right now I have the traffic jam uh, you know, blocks. There's one of the ones I'm working with. And these blocks use uh, four and a half for the corners and two and a half. So if you're going to make a bunch of those, or if you're just going to do two and a half inch squares, like I've done, here's, I've done many of these quilts, scrappy, two color, multicolor. Yay. They're just two and a half inch squares alternating and they're mindless sewing. They use up your scraps. They're totally fun. So I primarily keep mine in the, the two and a half inch camp. Uh, so like here's a lot of lights. Whoops, and oranges there that toppled over. Uh, and then each of these bins is by color so that I can work by color because that's what makes me happy. I don't wanna go rooting through one bin looking for a piece of yellow in all of that. Uh, also it takes up a lot less room when it's tidy like that. If I want to make the traffic jam blocks, oh, here, I'll show you the bigger one. So if I want to be making the traffic jam, here's the one I've got, here's the size I've got going so far. You know, I'm using these as four and a half. Uh, you can download the pattern too, but uh, I, I'm using the same fabric, but if I was doing scrappy corners, like I did some of the other ones, uh, then I would keep those four and a half inch squares too. I like to do fives and tens if I'm going to go that big. Right now I'm not keeping any tens, but tens are a layer cake. And so you can use any layer cake pattern. Fives, you can do Oh My Stars, my pattern. You can do tons of charm pack uh, quilts. There's tons and tons of patterns out there for five inch squares. So those are to me very usable sizes because there's all kinds of patterns. Another way you could look at this is if you go looking around and you find a pattern that you wanna make it scrappy, Take the dimensions of what you're going to need and then cut your cut yourself a kit, basically. You know, go through your scraps and make a size that'll work. Now, a lot of people will like to keep a strip of some sort. You know, strips are jelly rolls. And so you can basically uh, take two and a half inch strips and they become anything that you can use in a jelly roll quilt. Uh, and if the strip is not real long, I'll cut it up into two and a half inch squares because 
I need a 40 inch width to do like the patterns are calling for a jelly wall, which is two and a half by width of fabric, which basically is 40. Um, so I don't want to have all these random and right now I'm not leave, I'm not saving two and a half inch strips. I don't have any plan to make anything with that. I'd rather cut two and a half inch squares out of it. And that's, that's what I'd like you to do to think about how you actually use your your scraps so that you are saving them in the most efficient and effective way for yourself. Um, that way you get the most out of it because there's lots and lots of patterns like the little butterfly from the first charity block. I'm thinking of cutting up um, my Bonnie Lane like I have a bunch of pieces that are smaller and just cutting them those up to use in those butterflies. I uh, doing them all with a dark background and making a bunch of butterfly blocks for a quilt. But that's so that's a purpose. I know exactly that I'll need the two sizes, which are two different strip sizes actually, and then a bunch of squares, which are all the background fabric. So that gives me a goal. I know if I want to make those, that's the goal. Um, now I have right by my sewing machine, this lo little uh, basket. Yes, it's a Longenberger for those who collected them. I have a lot of Longenbergers. I love them. I use them all the time. So these two and a half are for the lights for the, for the traffic jam. Now, the other thing I wanted to tell you I've been working on, which will be a, for a project in March, is that I have been playing around with the chenille uh, cutter and I did a sample to, and then I made it into a pillow. So I have like a springy green pillow now. I need to wash it a little bit more so that it'll, um, you know how the chenille has to like, you know, fluff up and get nice, yeah. So I need to wash this one. And uh, one of my friends told me to just take, remember Roseanne, the joys uh, you love on my, my podcast? Roseanne said, take a wet wash rag and just sort of, you know, sort of scruff, scruff along there. Uh, which is what I'll do. But the the cutter is pretty darn cool. And when I was out looking on the internet, I saw somebody had taken a quilt like this, you know, made like a lap size or maybe been bigger. And then they did a chenille for the backing. I thought that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make, I think, a scrappy one of these where I'll do maybe white and then all the other colors or maybe two, two different ones and go through one of my bins and use some stuff up. So this, uh, this is Saturday pop in with me. And I also want to tell you that if you have been, I, you know, I made some goals for myself. I'll probably talk about this on Fireside Chat a little bit more, but um, for Monday night. But I made some goals for myself to get a little healthier. Um, not necessarily eating healthier. You can come over to the Kitchen Adventures website and check out the food there. It's like... Like, but I am w trying to walk as much as I can. So like today the sun came out. I think the angels sang. It was like, please, please give me sun. And I took a really long 45 minute walk through the neighborhood. Uh, and I have been doing yoga at home. There's, I don't know if you are familiar with yoga with Adrian. She has a YouTube channel for many years now and she puts out a playlist and you can do it every day or you can skip around. The playlists are nice because you can just go through the days. So I've made a commitment to try to do this every day that I'm home. But I didn't start till about the middle of January when my buddy Cindy started the whole, she started January 1. I started maybe the 12th and I, I missed a few days. And then so far this month, I've missed two days, um, but I'm keeping track. So I just, I'm now a little sore just because I am moving things that never moved before. It's like, oh, but it's lovely. It's lovely to do it in your home. And so I'll link you to that. Everything I talked about is linked down below the video. And if you are not on my Facebook community, come on over, quit along with Pat Sloan. And if you're watching this on Facebook, come over to YouTube and subscribe so that you get notices whenever I put a new one out. I thank you. Thank you for doing all of my links uh, that I share with you. They support our, our business. Greg and I thank you so much. So I love you on this Saturday. I know you can do amazing things and I can't wait to hear more about your scraps and how you're going to handle them. See you online.